With trout species spread across most of North America, it's no surprise that they rank highly in angler preference surveys. How to catch fish consistently? Well, fly fishing gets most of the press, even though more anglers fish for them using other tactics, some of the best of which we outline here. That's a pretty average fish for this fishery. That's about average. Good start. I'm with Daryl Bauer. And Daryl, tell them, tell them where we're at. We're on the North Platte River, right below Lake McConaughey in uh, west central Nebraska. Beautiful fishery. And the thing is, is that there's hundreds of fisheries like this across the country. And we want to show you some classic rigging techniques with the Berkeley power baits and the Gulf that can really pay dividends as far as catching fish. It's really so simple. Yep. There we go. Got one. You know, quite literally, when I'm talking about the introduction of power bait, like the power eggs and the power worms, I mean, this literally revolutionized trout fishing for hundreds and thousands across the United States. And not just in running water, but in still water, too. All right, net time here. There we go. They're all nice average fish. Get a grip on him here. And you see the trower, the uh, three inch power bait worm. That's actually a gulf worm that I have on right there. The hook right in the beak right there. Fish out. There we are right there. And they're hard to hold and that frable net with that rubber netting actually does a really nice job of holding on to those fish. Back we go. And he wasn't even, oh, yeah, he's all right. He wasn't even that poop. What I want to do is I'll, I'll show you the three most classic rigging options. Let's start off with, in my mind, the baits that started this entire revolution. The first introduction many years ago, of course, was the, the three-inch power bait trout worm. And I'm talking literally millions of fish caught on that worm. More recently, we have the gulp introductions and also a three-inch worm. That's actually what the one I caught the fish on here. Uh, I tend to use the power bait more in moving water and in more static water because the gulp gives off a lot more scent and taste, at least 400 times more, they say. I tend to use that more in static water. So there's my three inch worm. The basis for this entire system is either a number eight or a number six Eagle Claw Aberdeen hook. You take the blunt end of the worm and the hook point goes right directly into it. Keep worming the worm right up onto the hook until you're about, the hook point is about halfway, just more than halfway through the worm. Now slide the body of the worm up onto the line and straighten this whole package out. That's the classic rigging right there. Simple as that. All right, two other classic combos for you. This first one's almost self-explanatory. All I've got here, the same hook, either a six or an eight once again, and I've got two either, two power bait eggs uh, or two gulp eggs, and typically I do use two, you can go with one, but they're just slid onto the hook like that, and you've got all kinds of combinations of colors you can use. My all-time favorite is pink and white, just simple as that, very attractive to trout. Now the other option I've got here is a little bit more complicated. To start this one out, and this is often called the Barbie rig because it's so pretty, the color combinations are so nice. To start out, you wouldn't have the egg on there, you'd slide half a worm on the hook and up on just onto your line, then the egg goes on the front part of the hook by the hook point right there. So you're working once again with color combinations here. There's one. There. Comes out beautifully. And we'll release this guy here. And yeah, yeah, he'll be all right. He turned over, but. I released him a little quickly there, but he'll be fine. Uh, again, you know that we've got the number six Aberdeen hook on the end of the line. And then about six inches, I like to shot. One simple shotting pattern is just six inches up above the line, you start with your shot. And if that first distance is six inches, you double the second distance. So if the first is six, up here, bigger shot, a foot up above the smaller shot. And if you do that way, you will not ever have trouble fouling up when you're casting. So it's just a simple, one simple shotting method. And then of course enough shot on your line to sink this float to about right here so that you can see it at long distance. 
Um, this is a Thill Turbo Master float. Works very, very nicely in current.